Earl Glant, Township Chevrolet, shop foreman here doing another edition of uh, Tech Talk. Uh, we had a little vote there online, and you guys voted for the pros and cons between front wheel drive, all wheel drive, and rear wheel drive. So we're just going to briefly go over those pros and cons of each, and just some things to think about when it comes time to, to service your vehicle. Uh, we'll start off, I guess, with rear wheel drive. These, uh, this is all subject to, I guess, how you feel. It's all subjective. Um, rear wheel drives, uh, from a performance standpoint, performance cars are great. Um, but if you were just talking normal, everyday driving, uh, I guess part of the con would be that they tend not to handle very well in bad weather or off-road situations. Um, now, one of the pros is because they've got an engine up front, a transmission in the middle, and a differential in the back, they tend to have a good weight distribution or fairly good weight distribution. So they, they tend to handle really well or pretty good. So, um, And they're not too bad on maintenance-wise other than a, a differential and uh, in, in the rear of them, which the front-wheel drive has too. There's really no added parts, drive shaft and some you know, U-joints and stuff, but for the most part, usually tend to be pretty cost-effective as well. Um, so rear wheel drive, that's kind of older technology. Uh, obviously we still have them today. All of the performance cars usually have them. You've got your Camaros and your Challengers and your Mustangs and stuff. All those vehicles are rear wheel drive for that reason because of the handling and the weight distribution for uh, hard accelerations and stuff like that. So um, I guess the next one would probably be to talk about would be your front wheel drive. Uh, front wheel drives are good for a couple of reasons. A, they offer really good traction because of the weight of the engine and transmission is on top of the drive drive, drive wheels so they tend to have really good traction in, in bad weather um, they tend to be really cost effective it's one of the cheapest uh, forms of a vehicle to build right so all wheel drives tend to be usually cheaper more in more inexpensive cars um, there's uh, not too much extra parts moving parts you get your transaxle your, which is your transmission your differential all together in, in one piece uh, so with everything being bundled in that package, sometimes they'll even share the fluid between the two, so there's even less fluids and stuff to worry about and change. Um, and sometimes they're separate, but sometimes they're together. So uh, they're cost effective. Um, they're also light. They tend to be lighter because it's in a smaller package, uh, so there's better fuel economy with it as well. So cheaper, lighter, and handle pretty good uh, you know, traction in, in bad weather. Now on, on the downside, they tend to have all their weight on the front of the vehicle, on the nose of the vehicle. So as far as handling goes, or if you're looking to carve corners with a car, usually not the car to do with. They usually require a lot of modifications to, to make them do that, right? So um, just something to keep in mind when you're looking at buying a front wheel drive. So that leads us to an all wheel drive. We're standing next to a Subaru here that Chandler's working on today. He's doing a certified on this vehicle. Um, Subaru, uh, this Subaru's an all wheel drive. Obviously, uh, the best handling in bad weather. Uh, you've got uh, traction going to all four wheels. You've got power going to all four wheels. A lot of all-wheel drives now offer, offer what they call torque vectoring, so they can apply a certain amount of power or torque to a certain wheel to actually help the car corner, um, which is great. Uh, the downside would be that they're heavy because uh, there's more moving parts. You've got a transaxle or you know it could have a transaxle assembly in the front depending on how it's set up so you get the weight of that plus you've got a differential in the back plus you get the drive shaft hooking up plus you got axles going to each wheel so you got definitely more moving parts you got more fluids to maintain and, and keep an eye on when you come in to to get checked you got your transfer case fluid you've got uh, your differential fluids your transmission fluids so there's added, uh, added cost of that out for maintenance over time um, they're heavier, so they tend not to be as good on fuel either. Uh, and there's also more uh, frictional drag off those parts as you roll. Even though you're not maybe using the four-wheel drive, you're still turning those parts down the road, so it's heavy to turn. So you're going to be harder on fuel as well. So, And they obviously tend to be more expensive because there is more moving parts. So you've got expense, your weight, uh, uh, your expense to, to maintain them over the years and stuff. But they offer that much better traction that sometimes the price difference isn't as much as you think uh, especially if you maybe almost downgraded to a maybe a lower model that has all-wheel drive as opposed to a fully loaded model of front or rear so just a few things to think about if you're looking at buying a newer used vehicle here and when you come into the service department just give you an idea that there's 
more cost. You, you may bring your wife's front-wheel drive car in, and you may find in a year's time you, you don't seem to spend that much money on it. But when you bring your all-wheel drive or your four-wheel drive truck in here, you're seeing the, you know your differential flushes and your transfer case flushes and stuff because there's more moving parts. They're heavier. There's usually more horsepower related to the um, all-wheel drive and more torque because they usually have bigger engines because they got to push all that extra weight around. Usually, most part bigger vehicles too, right? So. Just a few things to keep in mind, and uh, anytime you need any of those fluids checked or any services you need done or you want to find out if you're due for any of those services, you can obviously come down here to Township and we can bring you in and take a look at it and let you know uh, what you need to have done. So that's another addition to Tech Talk here. My name is Earl Glant, shop foreman, and we look forward to doing business with you.